Okay guys, I'm going to tell you a wee fly uh, called the telephone fly. Now, this is going to be the um, golden telephone fly, if you like. So the body's going to be like a golden olive. And so I'm just going to show you how to put the wee fly together. Now, there's lots to it, so we need to leave ourselves plenty of room at the top. First off, we're going to put on a hot tag at the back. And that's going to be a glow bright floss, number four. So we're just going to come in and get our floss started, just at the bend of the hook. Remove our waist tag, just work the floss back up again to where we started. And then we'll come in and throw in a two turn whip finish. Put the floss nice and tight, come in and trim away the, the excess, just a wee bit of fluff there. Now we've got to protect this at the back so you can sit and do up a half a dozen knees or so the tags you can super glue and varnish them but just for speed here I'm just going to use some uh, UV resin now, just a small amount you don't want to go on too crazy with this stuff and we'll come in and set it Make sure it's well cured. Yep. Now the thread is going to be a uni thread, yellow and black. So I'm going to start the thread off at the other hook. Just snap a quick layer of thread on. Just bring the thread down to the glow bright floss tag. Remove the waste piece. Of thread. The tail on the fly is a golden olive crest feather, or sorry, a golden pheasant crest feather, and this one here has just been dyed a fluorescent yellow. So just offer it up to the hook, just coming around with a couple of loose turns just to see what way we're sitting. Just want to check the length. Okay, I'm happy enough with that, so I'm going to tighten up. Just have another wee check. Yep, I'm happy enough with that. Now, I'm just going to trim this the length of the body. Now, like I said at the start, you got to leave yourself plenty of room up here. So we have a body haggle. Another haggle in front of that. A bronze mallard wing. And then we'll finish off with another haggle at the front. Now the rib is going to be a gold, oval gold tinsel. And small. Just offer this up to the, the hook and on my side. And then I'm just going to run the thread up, tying in the cut ends of the crest feather. And their oval gold tinsel. And you just come back and open turns. The body's going to be dubbed, so you don't need to be too fussy. Now the dubbing, this is a golden olive, traditional Irish dubbing. So just always remember to take your dubbing the, the one way when you're spinning it onto the thread. Slide that up. I'm going to start it. Then we'll just work the dubbing up the body. Now, you want to put on enough dubbing because you want to be able to brush the, the dubbing out. Okay, up to there. Now, the next part of the fly is the body haggle. And this is a Matt's Grade 2 uh, cock saddle that has been dipped in picric acid. Now, it was a barred ginger cape before it was dipped into the acid. So I'm just going to catch that in here, come in and trim away the stem and then we're just going to palmer this down the body. I like to get two turns going at the shoulder of the fly, meaning the, the top of the body. And then you're looking 
two three turns down the body should be plenty keeping a hold of the remainder of the hackle just come in catch that in with your oval gold tinsel and then you're looking four turns of the oval gold up the body anything that's going forward sweep it all back bring your oval gold tinsel up in front and then just follow it around with your thread a couple of nice tight turns in there just to secure that and come in and trim that away I'm just going to come in and trim away the tip or the remainder of the haggle now you'll get another fly out of that but look at the nice markings in that feather so it was like I say it was a barred ginger grizzle and then it's been dipped in the picric acid now this stage I'm just going to come in with my trusty velcro on the lollipop stick and just brush out just any of the fibers that we may have caught while we were winding up the <coughs> excuse me apologies the oval gold tinsel now the next haggle this is another cock saddle haggle uh, in red game now what I want to do is, is just remove the rubbish from the, bo the bottom of this one I'm going to tie it in at the bottom of the haggle before back that we haggle stem I'm going to come in and locate that I do this for strength guys I think the flies last a bit longer it takes you a bit longer times to tie them but it lasts a wee bit longer if you can get into the habit of folding your stems and your hackle tips back so I'm just going to come in and just stroking this back with my fingers my finger and thumb and then I'm looking two or three turns one in front of the other probably put another one in there yeah so that was four turns of the red game I'm just going to tie that in. I'm just going to come in and trim this away. The tip, anything that's going forward, I'm just folding it back, bringing the thread to the eye. I'm working my thread up and down just to get a base in there for our final two materials. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Apologies. Now, the wing is a bronze mallard feather. And there's many different ways of putting this on you can cloak it many many different ways and there's lots of good fly tires on YouTube um, who use different methods all I do is just bring enough of the fiber out from the stem hopefully you can see this just get it to sit up straight tear the fibers away and then I just fold it fold it in on each other I folded that over now three times it's it there I just folded it all over and then just offer this up to the hook now you can have the wing as long as short as you like it's up to you I'm just going to have the wing with the tips coming into the tail just hold this onto the hook. I use the hook to fold the feather for me. Then I come round with a pinching loop. And then I just a good half a dozen tight turns just to see what way we're sitting. Okay, I'm happy with that. So another couple of turns just to secure. Nice pair of sharp scissors because bronze mallard is a really thick material now I'm just going to put a lick of wax on them with thread because of a haggle at the front I'm going to need all the grip that I can get so just rub a wee bit of wax on them with thread a wee bit of fluff around my thumb just bring my thread to the eye and then just build in the thread turns up over the cut ends 
of the mallard. Just come in and take away the excess of the wax. Now the hackle at the front is going to be all their mats. This is a mats grizzle hackle that has been dyed blue. So we'll just let me get the hackle off. And then I can show you the, the feather batter to the camera. That's it there. Lovely blue colour. So I'm just going to remove the rubbish at the bottom. Strip away some of the fibres to bear the stem. And we're going to tie this down at the bottom again. The feather. Nice tight turns to secure this in. I'm going to come in and trim away the stem. And I'm only looking two turns of this. The feather is really thick and dense. But also I don't have any more room at the head. I'm not putting any more than that. So I'm just stroking the fibres back. Getting one turn in front of the other. Up to there. Just follow you around with your thread. Get a nice tight turn in. A couple more to secure. I'm going to fold the stem back. The haggle. And then just build up your head. From the front. Over the stem of the haggle. Keeping your thread tight. You can Break away the excess. Still keeping your thread tight. Don't let it go. Just come in. Make sure everything's back out of the way. Just the wee favour there. And then just throw in a whip finish the way back down. Just to tidy up your head at the same time there. Put the tan thread nice and tight. Come in and trim away the your tan thread. Now we can get a wee look at the fly. See what way we're sitting and that looks 100% nothing wrong with that now just going to come in just to finish off just a wee drop of clear varnish just onto the head right the whole way right round and once that dries I'll come in and hit that with a with another coat guys just to brighten the head up another wee bit a bit of waste wire on my desk just going to come in, just clean the eye. Not more if you get onto a boat or in that bank and your eyes jammed up. So, there you go, guys. That's the uh, golden telephone fly. Now, there's a clarred version, and I'll do that for you on, a, on another video. But there's a lot to these wee flies, but they're well worth having in your box if you fish the uh, big locks big Irish locks. So there you go guys, the golden olive or golden telephone fly. Tie a few up, get a few in your box, hopefully then catch you a few fish. As always many thanks for taking the time to view the video. If you like the wee videos I'm putting together please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, helps the wee channel out and until next time folks, tight lines.